Yeah, welcome back to the uh, Bobcat Forever YouTube channel. Uh, we shoot all kinds of things on this channel. I'm going to kind of do a uh, retest. Uh, we've got the, the quarter inch masonite, which is a bit less than quarter inch. And uh, last time we shot at it, I wasn't real happy with the results, so we're going to do it again and uh, see if the results come out the same or if things change a bit. Plus, we're going to add a couple new guns to the shooting and uh, take a look at that as well. So we'll see how it turns out. These are some of the guns we're going to be shooting today. The uh, Heritage Rough Rider 22 long rifle and we're going to change out the cylinder and run uh, 22 mags. Got a high point 380 and a uh, Kimber Micro 9 and also the uh, Escort Bolt Action Rifle. First, uh, shooting the Heritage Rough Rider with uh, Mini Mag ammunition. Now well, let's take a look, see where those went. Actually, that was pretty easy. The bullet went most of the way through number seven and uh, is stuck in number seven. Next, uh, shooting the Escort bolt action rifle with a mini mag. Now let's take a look and uh, see where the uh, rifle round went. Went through number 10 and just put a little dent in number 11. Now I've uh, switched out the cylinder on the uh, Heritage uh, 22, so now we can shoot a 22 mag and going to be shooting a Federal 40 grain full metal jacket, 22 mags. Well, let's take a look, see where the 22 mag went. Went through uh, number 10. And uh, just left a small dent in number 11. I thought it might actually go a hair further. Going to be shooting uh, through this masonite. Uh, Quarter inch, actually a little less than quarter inch. I'm going to shoot a 380 uh, full metal jacket, followed by a 380 uh, critical defense round, and then after that, I'm going to shoot a, a nine millimeter full metal jacket, followed by a nine millimeter critical defense round. So, uh, assuming I can find enough space on there to shoot four rounds, <laughs> we'll see how that works out. First, starting with the 380. Well, we'll see what those uh, look like. Well, it looks like the uh, critical defense round, which is the top one here, stopped on number 12. And just put a little mark in 13. The full metal jacket. Went through uh, 15 and uh, put a dent about halfway through number 16.
Now next we're going to shoot the uh, Kimber Micro 9, first with a uh, full metal jacket followed by a critical defense round. I replaced the first 16 boards here uh, because I didn't think there was enough room for me to put the bullets where they wouldn't be affected by uh, one of the other holes. So we'll see what happens here. First the uh, full metal jacket. And now the hollow point. Well, let's take a look. The hollow points here at the top. And uh, it appears it went through number 16 and stopped on 17 and it looks like the uh, full metal jacket actually did the same thing Huh. which is kind of strange. So both of them went through 16. The full metal jacket went most of the way through 17. And uh, here is the full metal jacket bullet. Well, I thought uh, there would be a bigger difference between those two rounds, but uh, maybe uh, the uh, critical defense round doesn't like this uh, masonite, so it went through more of it. So we'll see. But that was kind of interesting. 